Hiya. Hello, interwebs. Welcome back to Let's Play Professor Layden and the Curious Village. My name's Sydney Mini. And I'm Inferno. In last episode, we um went to Lady Violet's grave and we and we saw Matthew and Matthew was like, Hey, go check out the Baron's journal. So we checked out the journal and the journal's talking about it replacing the the wife and we have to go talk to the Baron's friend that he mentioned in the journal that should know the, the location of the golden apple. And but now we gotta talk to Ingrid for more information about that. Yep, yes. because we don't know who this friend is. Yes. So, let's go find Ingrid. And I think I have a huge theory of what I think it is. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm so right. I know. Oh, hi. Ingrid. <laughs> Ingrid. I love her. I love her old lady voice. Oh, look who it is. Professor Laddle, was it? Laddle. <laughs> Ladle. <laughs> Ladle, son. Professor Ladle. The name's Layden, madame. Oh, that's right, Professor Layden. All that talking about the mansion we did last time got me reminiscing, so I decided to stop by for a visit. But enough about me. By the look on your face, it seems that you have something you want to ask me. As a matter of fact, I do. You happen to know who Baron Reinhold considered his close friends. His friends, you say? Well, he wasn't exactly what you'd call a social butterfly. I'm sorry, that's really all I knew of his friends. Oh, wait a moment. I do believe I saw that Zapponi fellow pay a visit at the mansion a few times. Professor, could she be referring to that man we met? Ah, uh, yes, the gentleman with the fancy little mustache. <laughs> We should ask if he knows anything. I would wager he's still hanging around about about the fork uh, in the road just beyond the clock tower. Oh, bye, Ingrid. Does she she like zoomed yeah. out of there? <laughs> <laughs> got to go fast. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I ain't got time for this. I ain't got time for this. I'm sorry. I'll see you later. Anyway, we've handled most of the puzzles uh, that we were technically supposed to see on the way. Okay. Uh, uh, that is not the correct path. Get oh, out of here, God, tomato, tomato face. Tomato face. <laughs> oh, God, tomato face. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. This guy. Yep. Hello, Zapony. <laughs> Zapony. Zapony. Uh, close friends of the Baron? It's true, I had the pleasure of meeting Baron Reinhold a few times. Mr. Zapponi, did you, you did, sorry, you didn't happen to, <laughs> to be good friends with the Baron, did you? Me? Oh, uh, no, it was, I was nothing of the sort. Can you think of anyone at all who was close to the Baron, to Baron Wy Reinhold? No, I don't, I didn't really know him. Well, there was that one possibility. Uh, no, wait, never mind, I'm not sure. I guess the pony can't really help much, tell us much of anything. Yes, I'm afraid he would no help at all. I suppose that means we're back to where we started. But at least we can be sure that this close friend we're after is a resident of St. Mystere. We mustn't give up, Luke. Let's continue to ask around. Hmm. Alright, let's head to the right. Oh, nope. hi. Tiny face. Oh, Gerard. Not being a member of high society myself, I never so much as had a conversation with Baron Reinhold. Now, Sonny, much as I like to keep chatting, I'm awfully tired. I think I need to go lie down. Are you feeling unwell, sir? I'm just plumb exhausted lately. It's that awful noise coming from the tower, you see. It's gotten so loud, I can't sleep a wink at night. Do you know what's causing that- causing the noise? It's just a rumor, but I hear that every time that sound rips through Miss St. Mystere, someone disappears. They say the ones who have been gone missing who have been talking about feeling tired. But those who disappear are back before you know it, so it's probably a bunch of poppycock. Poppycock? Hee <laughs> 
Whenever the noise sounds, someone disappears. Interesting. Do you think the peculiar sound has anything to do with that strange old man who abducted Raymond? It's certainly a possibility, isn't it? But why would he release his victims after going through the trouble of kidnapping them? I don't know, but I got questions. Oh, we'll talk to him again. I think he's supposed oh. to give us a puzzle. Give me a puzzle, sir. <laughs> give, me, give me the puzzle. Give me please. the puzzle. You two are certainly crazy about puzzles, aren't you? Oh well, god, I've... they read us. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it! I've got a whopper of a puzzle for you. Whoops. Oh, City 8. 40! No! <laughs> Ooh! The unnamed. Oh my god. Oh my god, why can't I read? A number of five sided shapes are hidden within the picture below. How many can you find? Answer when you found every hidden shape. Oh lord! Whew. A number of five sided. That's a, that's a pentagon, right? Yes. Okay. I gotta make sure. <laughs> Just confirming. Just confirming. Ugh. Pentagon. Pentagon. Okay. I just did five. Let's play the triangle. Can I mark? Okay. Uh. Hmm. Okay, this should be fine. Hmm. It's weird. I'm not seeing them, but then I'm like. One, two, three. 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 What? Try making a five-sided shape. Uh, this is the only other equilateral one, so they're not gonna be a perfect pentagon anywhere. No, I mean like on the actual square itself. Using the lines, uh, just try making one um pentagon. Yeah, it's gonna look like. Not even. I don't know what happened to the pentagon. So it's supposedly the purpose of this, I mean, my brain hmm. is running off very little sleep, so... Alright, so for instance, um, you see the, like, diamond, um, in the middle? Just outline the two top, um, lines that form diamond. And now, mark the, uh, the rest that, that has a box, like the box, not the diamond. This? No, no, that one. No, that one. No. You see the, you see the bottom half of the box? Yes. Mm -hmm. Outline that bottom half of the box. Oh. You, you see what I mean? Yeah. That's the five-sided. Right? Envelope. You make an envelope. You did that, and then you go. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> but no. You see how many five-sided shapes? Yes. Okay. That's what you mean. So try making okay, so so and then you go shapes. So the next thing about squares is the fact that like each of the nine degrees you get the shape, right? So that means you can count them by four, right? Oh, there you go. Uh, so that was two already. So that one shape that looks like an open envelope mm -hmm. is one type of pentagon that we can make, right? Mm -hmm. And because it's in a square, we can make four of those. So that's already four. Okay. Right. So let's try making another uh, pentagon using any of these lines. Mm -hmm. I can't draw two lines. Mm -hmm. There's another one here. So yeah, you see how you're able to make that shape four different ways? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's how we have like four already. So we found four pentagons. Okay. Now let's try making another five-sided shape. Mm. One, two, three, four. Yep. Yeah, but the, uh, four, that's the fourth envelope. So you basically draw, you basically draw all four envelopes. So let's try making a different shape. That's like five-sided. Uh, there's something going on the end this. And you would be correct on that. Just try a little diagonal. If you get right there. That's horizontal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're close. There you go. So that's another shape. That's another five-sided, right? Yeah, so it's just tilted that way, that way. So now we have just a little gate. I don't even understand what that is. <laughs> Oh, see. <laughs> wait, wait, oh, see, guys. Oh, see, guys. Um, okay, stop, stop. So, we have one last, so let's try making one more. One more five-sided shape. And this one is pretty big. Well, we have the gigantic circle. Ow. Circle. So, so, wow. Cir gigantic <laughs> square. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Can we, like, like, I know you're gonna speed through this one, but can you, like, unspeed it for that one? <laughs> oh, my God. It's gigantic. Oh, gigantic face <laughs> poem. Oh, my God. <laughs> And why do I say circle? Okay. <laughs> oh gosh. If you make right. it a circle hard enough on a computer screen, you can actually see it's a bunch of squares. Oh god, you know, and then you see you can't tell me that. And then that's <laughs> <right>. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, wait. Did you gonna straight apart the setup and it's just me laughing? <laughs> yes. It's gonna be great. No, you did that one. There you go. Is that five? One, two, three, four. Oh. Yeah. And so we can make that four different ways. So we found three different shapes, right? Yes. And they can all be rotated four different ways. So that means, or you can just put eight plus four. What what did that give you? Two. How many pentagons Wait. can we make? Uh, hold on. Twelve. 
12. Let's try it. Okay. I don't know why it took me that long to add. <laughs> it's okay. Sometimes people ask me, like, an addition question, and I'm, like, the smart one with math, and then I'm just like, uh... I just, uh... But then when you ask me something with a square root, I somehow right say it. Yay! Every puzzle has that was, that was a difficult struggle on that one. Yeah! Dang, I need to take those IQ tests. <laughs> <laughs> like, my IQ is four! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Learning quota is stupid. Uh, what cunning lads you two are. I hope you'll stop by and solve some puzzles with me again sometime. Yay. No. Give me furniture, <laughs> dude. Let's go. <laughs> Give me furniture. Give me furniture. Oh. Giuseppe. Ahem. I'm you there. Yes, you. Do you mean me, good sir? Yep, you. This flower vase is yours, right? I've been keeping it nice and safe for you. Oh, what? Nani. Nani? Oh! I've never seen anyone just forget something like this while shopping. You're a vase space case. <laughs> Whose nasty feet are those? I'm sorry, but you must be mistaken. I've never seen that vase before in my life. What? This fancy vase doesn't belong to you? So then why did that guy tell me to give this to you? Hmm? What did this man look like? Oh! <sighs> Hi. Well, my hat has a way of obs obscuring certain details from me. Dude, it's the worst, I tell you. That was a terrible pun. But back to the issue at hand. The mystery man wasn't a regular around here, that's for sure. Don't sweat it, though. I'll just give it back to the guy next time I see him. So speaking of flower bases, I know a puzzle I bet you'll like. It's not a hard one or anything, but just, it's just, it's the least I can do for bothering you about the vase. Okay. Oh, oh, yay! Puzzles. Puzzles. Someone knocked over this fabulous vase and shattered it. Fi fit the pieces together and restore the vase to its original shape. There's one catch, though. Mixed in with the pieces is a single piece from a different vase. All right, let's just put the space back together. Okay. There we go. There's the. This one looks like the United States of America. <laughs> like there's Texas. <laughs> there's of course, California. you would point out where Texas is. Well, look at Texas. It's huge. Texas is huge. And then, <laughs> and then here's an eagle <laughs> or a dog. Or it looks like XJ9. If you squint and tilt your head, sure. <laughs> I was yeah, just gonna say yeah. someone in a really bad ghost costume. Or that. Anyway, let's do it. Do it's it. a nice, simple puzzle. Yeah, I like that one. I like this Another puzzle. puzzle solved. Yay! Oh, it's ten paper rats? Yeah. Good job. Preparing the vase wasn't much of a challenge, was it? Oh, if only fixing things in real life were this simple. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, you've got a good head on your shoulders. I'm impressed. By the way, you sure you don't want to take some fresh sausage home with you? Believe me, these are some links you don't want to be missing. Har har. No, thank you. We're just fine. Too bad. Not to bust your chops or anything, but that deal was a one-time offer. Maybe you should would have maybe you'd say yes if you knew it was a stake. Or if you knew if you knew what was at stake. Ha 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 I think we're done here, Luke. <laughs> I couldn't agree more, Professor. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, man, the shade them through. Oh, hello, weird object. Oh. And Bido. There we go, Bido! Bido! 
<laughs> Fight over her. Oh, there we go. Over. The object is around. Oh. What the heck? That's a rat! I thought it was a crumpled up piece of paper. Oh, it looked like a rat. What kind of lout just throws trash on the ground? I'm going to pick it up. <laughs> it's an old newspaper. Honestly, you think that everyone would know where the tra uh, trash goes in the trap? Wait a second. You have to come take a look at this article. Oh, would you look at that? It seems to be Inspector Chelmy. <laughs> look at that. Chelmy hailed as brilliant detective and devoted husband. Oh, he's ma Chelmy's married. <laughs> Tell me, hail this brilliant detective and devoted husband. Oh, okay. Tell me, c celebrates each successful case with his favorite treats, his wife's sweet potato fritter. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> wow, who saw that one coming? He's so gruff that I never imagined he had a soft side like that. <laughs> just, look over, just look at that old grump grinning over his plate of sweet potato fritters. I knew he was fussing over nothing when he said he hated sweets back at the Reinhold Manor. Hmm. That's right, Luke. He did say that. How oh, very curious. That's weird. Oh god, hello- Oh god! I, uh, do you want me to talk to you? Cause, you know, I'm gonna talk to you in the next episode, cause you're kinda creeping me out a little bit. You kinda like, come over here! Hey, come here, children! <laughs> There's only one child here, though. <laughs> Should... Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. So, thank you guys so very much for watching. In the next episode, we'll talk to this scary-looking pedo guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, if no one's told you that they love you today, I do. Much love. Bye. Bye-o. God, it's so weird. <laughs> Why is he doing that? <laughs>